Hello and welcome, this is Alistair Christie and today we're going to make an application read some text. We're going to do this by leveraging the speech API. And the first thing we need to do is import this into a package. Okay, let's create our new package. And in that we need to import a component and we want to import a type library. And the one we're looking for is the uh, Microsoft Speech uh, Microsoft Speech Object Library. <coughs> we'll create a new. Let's call it SAPI and it's imported this type library, uh, quite enormous, uh, over 11,000 lines of code. And let's save all that. and install it. Let me get all these new components registered. So let's now close everything down. And we'll close the project manager as well. And now we start to create our application. So a new forms application and if we scroll right down to the bottom here we have a section called SAPI and in that uh, today we're going to look at the SP voice. Now we'll also need a memo Let's call this one speak, this one shut up. And what we want to do is uh, say what's in the memo, uh, and that's quite simple. SP voice dot speak. Oops. Memo one dot text. And the parameter, if we look at speak, speech voice flags, we've got a list of flags, and what we want is the asynchronous one so that uh, once we start it talking, uh, we can, our application continues. Uh, otherwise, in fact, let's, let's just let's start with that saying zero. And run that. You'll notice the button right, can't do anything with the application while it's speaking. So that's why we use the asynchronous uh, flag. And to make our application stop talking, go to our voice object and speak and we want to say something, we want to say nothing and grab that flag. Now if 
if we run that. And I'll just grab some text. We shall not slack nor fail. We shall go unto the end. Okay. However, it's not showing what we're speaking, and we'd like it to do that. But while I've got that text in the clipboard, let's check that in there. And to show what word is being spoken, we go to the events, and uh, note what on word. So select start. It's character position and select length is length. Now the other thing I have to do is turn off hide selection. Okay. Let's run that. We shall not fly and speak. We shall go unto the end. And you might recognize we the speech. It's the uh, a speech, speech by Winston Churchill. We shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the air. Okay. Enough of that. And that was pretty much all I wanted to show you today. This was a very short introduction to the speech API, but it should be enough to get you started. We first created a new package and imported the speech object type library, saved it, compiled it, and then installed it. We then created a new application and placed on it a TSP voice component, which we used to read some text. Finally, we used the onWord event to indicate what word is currently being spoken. Alistair would like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video.